everybody. Good morning. This is Jean here. Jean True Love from True Love Quilts for You. Um, this may or may not be my third part of a video or it's a standalone video. I'm making a pillow cover, a pillow slip out of a quilt, uh, 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 out of a pillow top that I have made with in two previous tutorials. A um, sort of a cheater cathedral windows quilt. I'm um, just back it up a little bit. I had made, if you are new on just watching this for the first time, I had made this um, cathedral windows uh, sort of, it was called Color Madness and it was in a quilt show. I just got it back. Um, they exhibited it's a small queen size quilt tons and tons and tons and tons of fabric and it, and it, it, all of these circles there's no curved piecing whatsoever it's made in a block by rows it's like a miraculous cathedral windows it's it is backed it is backed and it has batting inside it the, the traditional cathedral windows quilt doesn't so that was my quilt and I decided to do quite a few people were like oh can you do a tutorial on an actual pillow so the following little tutorial is my I made this pillow top this cathedral windows pillow top actually to match my quilt um, out of the bright fabrics but as I was explaining in my tutorials if you go back um, the uh, the traditional cathedral windows uh, quilt is all white and then just the bright pictures in the in the curved turning frames I decided to change it up and I use this polka dot fabric for my background uh, little wedges here so this tutorial right now is um, just a short tutorial on how I make an envelope style pillow cover it's fully lined as well as the fabric here the, the fabric here and then a, an inner lining to make it substantial and then I round my corners now obviously this pillow lends itself to rounded corners because of the design the circular design I round my corners anyway and I should tell you that in the following tutorial this I just use a nice quality double folded muslin for the back but again the back of my quilt is a beautiful fabric if you wanted to if you wanted to um, Co really coordinate your pillow um, or your pillow sham with your your quilt you would use the back of your the back the backing of your thing but I'm, I'm I was okay using the muslin I this is the same exact fabric that I used for the turnings and again if you refer to my tutorials it's a two-part tutorial how I made this actual pillow six rows six blocks across six rows down and I just finished it into a pillow and, and I was saying the pillow the, 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 the tutorial um this is a 20 inch pillow <laughs> with a 22 inch pillow form I really shoved it but you will be you if you're gonna if you're gonna watch this you'll you'll see I reinforced and reinforced and reinforced because I had to really shove it and you've you've all been there that's that little bit is ripped right when you try to wrangle a pillow form into your pillow mine didn't because I, I reinforce everything 10 million times. So anyway, that tutorial is to follow for my little pillow. I hope you love it. And if you haven't, if you want to make the um, actual pillow top, you can refer back to part one and part two of my cathedral windows pillow. So there you go. Have at it. Have a lovely day, folks. See ya. Bye. So here is my pillow, um, pillow, my cathedral windows pillow top ready to be uh, made into a pillow now um, as you know I had used for my um, white frame pictures here my white frame fabric I had used an inexpensive muslin and um, it is an inexpensive thinner fabric okay but what I'm going to and I'm going to use that as my backing and my lining for my pillow I'm gonna actually line this pillow um, I do find when I make for myself when I make pillows or pillow covers pillow slips to put an insert in um, I, li I like it to feel substantial I just don't think you know like sewing two you know right sides together and, and inserting a pillow form into it is is quite substantial enough for me so what I'm gonna do is I'm simply going to take my pillow top here and uh, this this muslin, as I was saying, is 90 inches wide. I'm just going, I've, I've just laid it on. Am I in the frame there? Yeah. I've just laid it on, and I'm just going to go, and the, the size of my pillow top, I'm just going to cut a piece of fabric here. This is 
so, making pillows is so so easy now I'm not even going to uh, stitch any of that I'm just going to put that aside for now and then oh no actually, I have to get it down <laughs> I have to I have to mark it for something else let me see where let me see this bit here now I make an envelope style enclosed pillow so actually I do have to bring this up this is for that that's the lining now I'm going to bring my pillow back down again keep that over there and what I do is I make an envelope style closing um, and I need two pieces of fabric that are going to be um, one is going to come like here and then the other is going to go sort of underneath it to here so it's a nice envelope closing you can in the middle you can just sort of fix either way your pillow form but because this is a thinner fabric um, I'm going to double in a folded manner both of those both of those pieces of paper I mean both of those pieces of fabric so uh, bear with me you'll see what I mean I'm just literally going to eyeball I'm going to eyeball it's the length I'm going to fold it and uh, even if it's a little bit too big I can always cut it down and I will show I will show you now obviously I'm just I, I'm literally eyeballing this but um, I can I can sort it out when I come to the construction of it so now what that what is I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this in half and see if it's now I got to I got to square it up obviously because I've just I bought it and I I quite like that yes I quite like remember I said it's going to come to about here and the other one if I make it exactly will come to there but I'll show you how I do that so now I'm going to cut one more this size and I will square it up don't worry about that this is the look at all, all this fabric this is the outside of um, the, this is the back part of my pillow I should could measure this but I, I, it's, it, it works out, it works out great once everything is in the seams. Just put that up there. And again, when I fold it, bring it here, because this is a less expensive muslin. Oh, that is really crooked. <laughs> I'll make it a little bit straighter. There you go. There you go. And then up here. So now, what I'm going to do with each one of these, I'm going to go over and I'm going to press it really well. I'm going to square it up. Yeah, it's a little bit, well, it's, a, it's, a, it's pretty okay. Square this one up. And I'm going to iron these. Yeah. I can see where it's. I'm going to iron these, I'm going to press these, and I'm going to be making, on both of these, I'm going to be making a really nice, a uh, really nice crease. Iron that really, really, both of these, oops, both of these really, really well. And then um, we'll put our pillow together. It's just literally a few seams, and, I, and my pillow is done. I'm going to go iron them, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do. So I have here, I have, I have ironed, oops, get that piece of red, red out. <laughs> don't want that on the back of your pillow um i've ironed my two pieces of fabric here now i was thinking by all means um you've seen my quilt uh here here is my quilt now by all means if i really wanted to i could have made oh there's my my label i could have used this fabric obviously i could have used that fabric as a backing um for my pillow um, but I'm not bothered because when this goes on a bed, I'll just have the pillow with the backing, with, with this as batting, uh, backing. So I've ironed those two pieces re really good, and I've ironed my lining fabric. Oh, I just wanted to uh, do a little, show you a little what I do. Um, this seam is going to be like half an inch, three quarters of an inch over here. Um, I just, this was a selvage edge. And some, as, as you know, a selvage edge is is um woven or or uh what is it off the f off the machine it's woven tighter your selvage edge so sometimes it has the tendency to pucker what i do is even when i'm doing a backing for for a quilt what i do is just i do a tiny little maybe an eighth of an inch snip and it releases that 
um, it releases those tighter woven threads there and then it's fine um, I don't cut my I don't cut the selvage off and I've never had a trouble with it but you would have trouble with it puckering or pulling um, if you didn't sort of cut as you can see just release those threads along there that's fine so now I have my piece of I have um, my lining backing I mean my lining of my my quilt top and I'll just line that up like that am I in the frame <laughs> yeah 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 and then one or the other this is such a so 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 simple I just put this these with the folded edge in the middle the folded edge down here and then the folded edge goes up this way all right you want to line up your edges so you're putting what if you did have your fabric obviously you would put the pretty side of your fabric if I was using my blue I would put the pretty side to the pretty side of my my pillow here but since this is muslin there's no right or wrong side I'll just do that I folded it here's the one two layers make it a nice substantial pillow and then I'm, I'm just making sure that my edges oops are like that and then there's a little bit of a hangover that's fine um, as you can see I wasn't obviously I wasn't exact now now um, with my with my uh, corners of my of my pillows I'm just going to come along at probably about half an inch I'm just going to pin this and then about half an inch into into my seam or so it hangs over a bit um, maybe 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 three quarters of an inch to an inch or so but on my on my corners here I'm just I I don't come to a, a complete squared off corner even on my pillows I round the corner slightly even though the form is square I like the look it's, you might have like these you know the, the, a pillow that is really like it's sort of shif, shushed in the middle and then these points at the end I don't love that to get rid of that to a certain degree I just round the, the points of my um, the the points I don't square them off I just round them so I'm going to, to go over to my machine after I finish pinning this and I'm going to stitch I stitch this I stitch my pillows <laughs> and what am I going to say make sure you have the lining and everything and everything's nice and flat I'm going to stitch this about four times and on this bit here I know you know what I'm gonna say on this bit here right when you get a, 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 a pillow from the from the um, shop inevitably that's gonna rip right that's that points gonna rip right there because you know you're shoving this pillow I go I go around it and I go around it and then on this from here from here where the other fold is down here this point here from here to here there to there I'm gonna reinforce that a whole bunch so it will not when you're wrangling the pillow form into this um, pillow shape it's not going to rip on either side so I'm gonna go over to my machine so I'm at my machine and I'm I'm putting my pillow together so so simple this literally takes 10 15 minutes I'm at the top or at the bottom of my pillow and I'm going to just back stitch and making sure because my top my lining is my backing is slightly bigger but my top is all enclosed and I'm coming to I'm coming to my corners and it's interesting because you can't probably see that but I can actually see the curve <laughs> the curve of my um, my corner my uh, design uh, those those curves so I'm just sort of I'm just sort of gonna not right to the end but I'm just just sort of gonna curve this around as I said I'm gonna curve that around now I'm going to come to this part here let me just see if I'm all yep I'm all in I'm gonna go a little bit wider actually um, I'm gonna come to this part here where my fold is right there's my fold and then I am going to yeah I'm going to back stitch here but I'm, I'm not gonna bore you I'm going to go around this this is sewing through one two three four and then all my my lining fabric and my pillow top quite a lot so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to continue sewing 
and it goes to there as you can see there's my bottom fold I'm just going to when I come back on myself I'm just going to continue stitching on this bit all the way around and then I'm going to reinforce that bit a whole bunch of times and I'll show you I've taken my uh, pillow off of my machine and as you can see I've curved my corners and what I'm going to do I'm going to be very brave and I'm just going to cut off these corners and as you can see well you probably can't see but I have I have um, reinforced here and here and here and here back and forth so many times um, the uh, the opening and so now now let's see what let's see what we have <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. I've made a million of these, and they really do turn out. But never with this cathedral window. Oh, look at that! Where I yeah, that's yeah, that's what that's the look I was looking for. Can you see uh, where the actual curve is? Oh, that's funny. Of the um, pillow, of the uh, design of the circles of the pillow, in my corners. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Can you see that? Oh, it's lovely. Very nice. Very nice. And it's and it's and it's substantial. So, um, if you un if you understand what I'm saying, obviously, if you're making just a regular um, pillow cover, a pillow slip for your for your uh, throw pillows to freshen them up. Um, I still like to do. You might not. You won't have this curve here, obviously, of this pattern. But I still like the look instead of those points, because when you go to put the form in, it bunches up, and then you have these, these, these pointy things. So there's my back. There's my back. Just the muslin, but I'm okay with that because it's double. It's double. It's it's a nice thickness on both of them, and my seams are are thick they have um real nice substantial in them because this is obviously a substantial a substantial pillow or pillow or quilt and then as you can see i have it's it's really balanced itself well for um to make this pillow now i have this oh mate oh wow oh this is <laughs> hold on hold on hold on this measure this finishes up 20 inches 20 inch square Oh, this is 22. Oh, mate, it's too big. Oh. Oh, it's too big. Hmm. Well, maybe I can shove it in. <laughs> oh, oh, this tag. I don't want to take off it. Remember, you know the tags on. Oh, hold on. What does it say? Yeah, under penalty of law. Oh, I always think when you get a mattress, like, I'm never going to take off the tag. Under penalty of law, this tag not to be root, except by the consumer. Oh, flip it neck. I'm a consumer. Oh, I'm going to go to jail. So this is a huge one. Let's just see if it fits. Let's just, I, 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 this is too big. <laughs> but um, let's see if my, okay, now I'll put my seams to the test. This is funny. It's so actually sometimes, sometimes, oh, I'm going in. Sometimes um, a, a larger pillow form fills out a pillow. <laughs> this is much larger. <laughs> I picked out the wrong one. Never mind. So I'm going to tuck that right in. I'm going to tuck those pointy, these pointy corners, which actually aren't. Look, they're like soft too. So I'm going to tuck them right in. Yeah, 22 inch. Look at that. It says it on the pillow. So I'm going to, and then you see how if I, if I hadn't reinforced that, that would have actually really ripped. But man, that's not going to rip. And it's going to, and I've, go, I've gone around these seams a dozen times. <laughs> I'm going to sort of pull out and push right into that rounded corner. Lovely. Oh, it might not be too bad. It's just a very, very full pillow. <laughs> oh, mate. This is for a jumbo purse. Actually, it's on a bed. I'll, I'll, smooth, the, I'll smooth this the underpiece up. Now, you understand, you see the, how with this envelope closing, the even with this large overstuffed pillow, how well that oh yeah that's okay how well that um this 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 overlap this overlap i wouldn't have even minded it down here but look at that oh look oh mate <laughs> after that i'm gonna go to sleep <laughs> well anyway folks there's my pillow i like it look at that and if, yeah that's okay I don't, I, if you really want a substantial, a substantial pillow, oh, it's funny. That's funny.
that is my finished pillow literally took me 15 minutes and um, it's done again you could have real pretty fabric here if you want it to be really in if I'm gonna just go over and hit that with a bit of I um, um, iron because it's got really wrinkled um, but doesn't really matter um pull this up and under here smooth it all out oh it's lovely really nice substantial pillow I love it so there you go folks if you wanted to use a pretty fabric to make it reversible well you couldn't really or do buttons um, you could change it up like that but that is my little cathedral windows pillow hope you love it all right see you bye